What is up, everybody? We just wanted to, because of the fact tomorrow is Thanksgiving, we just wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving from our our family here at Hotown Heroes to you guys. Hi. Oh. <laughs> so Hi. yeah, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Get your fill of turkey uh, and enjoy our uh, Tyranitar video. So enjoy. <laughs> And we want to be your Po Town heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. Nice. What are you doing? J just a sec, we're almost done. Almost, almost there. I'd bite it. Unless I got Z Splash. Either way, Pikachu's gonna take this whole thing out. All right, one more. We got this. One more. One oh. more. We got this. Dang Double up. teaming a Magmat. Nice. J just a second. All right. And let's, let's just knock this guy out real quick. Well, let's bite. Yeah, boot to the head. Yeah, totally got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. What? 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 Oh, what? hey. Do uh, I? Oh. This, uh, sorry. Let's go. It's an amazing game. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Po Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryan Horn, trainer Steven. Well, Sean. And today we finally get to I'm show on this off. Side. Yes, which means we finally get to show off the actual legend. Unfortunately, this was not in Gen One, but he came in Gen Two, which will probably be the next game if they make one other one, which is probably a, a possibility. Oh yeah, easily. Uh, so this is our actual built, refined T-Tar list. So without further ado, we'll jump into a game and we'll see how it does. All right, so now we got Fire Psychic. Oh no, Blissefion! Yay! This will definitely be a fun one. But at least we're not going to completely They're not going to be able to attack turn one. Tails never fails. All yes. right. Uh, do we want to go first? No. no, we want to attack. I do have Vulpix, so. Oh, that could. That's that's a good way to start. Of course, all of the decks. The first deck I had to go against is Bless Self Leon. This would be, this would be a good chance it for does, it, though. It does take him a little bit to set up, so... Better than getting nailed straight up by uh, well, by fighting Pokemon with, like, in our challenge video. So, that was embarrassing. Cynthia or Fan Club? I don't know. So we got a purple active... Poiple active with a... Or Lele being played on the bench. Let's see what they go for. Well, I'm pretty much going to have pretty much the exact same play that they did, so. All right, so Lele into there's a Cynthia. 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 All right, so there's a Cynthia play. So now we got a Meryl active, so if we play, or we'll definitely want to get a Zoomerill out. There's the Ultra Ball play. Two fire, Blasephion. There we go. Now, now the deck's starting to pick up. There's the Orangaroo. Ta energy Hatchment and Poipoles. Look at the prizes. Or at least that would be the best play. That would be the best play. No, no just instruct for one. Okay. So we'll take full advantage of this. Let's get the Ultra Ball for Dark and the Nine Tails. Get out our Lele. Yes, we got a Lele, okay? Considering the fact it's now coming out in a box, it's now within our price range. So we're going to be able to run one of in most decks. is here to stay. That it is. All right, so we play the Lele, get Elm's Lecture, use Elm's Lecture, and we're grabbing out two Larvitar and a Vulpix so that we can get set up as soon as we possibly can. Switch full picks, nice. 
Oh, and with the Nine Tails in the discard, we'll easily be able to pull out. Um, stretcher, evolve. Use, yeah, you stretcher evolve. And I can use it to call another switch and a rare candy. I love it. All right, so next turn, there's. And when the, Energy Spinner comes out, or I can just or uh, Energy Lotto. There's a reason why I run rainbows and uh, unit energies. So we'll yeah. find we'll see them later. All right, so we had an Ultra Ball getting rid of a Judge and a uh, Sycamore? No, not Sycamore, Guzma for the Naganadal. Yep, and Guzma. For the Naganadal, Fire Energy on Naganadal. He's instructing for two. Choice Band. Choice Band. So he's stacking up the damage. Or Lily for six, five. Yep, Lily for five. Blasephion really is like a really, really good list. Uh, the only thing is they're really hard to pull because online we pulled one. Two, one, two, maybe. And in real life we pulled two. And and on my and on my account I pulled basically a playset and a half of nine tails already. So Yeah. And at least two play sets of uh of that other zero aura. Yep, so there's the other Blasephion. Uh retreating for the Blasephion. Still no energy. Uh, while meanwhile, on our side of the field, we'll go Lavatar and the Pipitar. Yes, ability. Uh, yes, ability. We'll go Zumaril. I uh, I would hold off on energy attachment so you can use the Zumaril. All right, so Rescue Stretcher to grab back out our Nine Tails. It's a shame we didn't pull one of those that it was on your actual account. Yes. Uh, yeah, we won't put two items in our hand. Look at that. Easily. Um, and then do we want to go... Yeah, probably a nest ball to get out. A Ranguru. Although the issue right now is we need... The energy, or we need the unit, unit energy. energy. Or rainbow. Or rainbow. There's the unit energy. Very nice. Thank you, Tate. Tate and Liza. All right. Uh, unit energy onto Zimril and Polka Dot search for a unit energy in a dark. So Pupitar is pretty much ready to go. Actually, I could also put on Nine Tails and just open up the GX attack. But I don't want to. I don't want to pull any prizes yet. This oh. is their slowest time of the game. Of the game. Yeah, considering the fact next turn, once, unless he's got a switch. Once you got the B strings act. Once their B strings are activated, the deck takes over. It does. So we have to make sure we're lining up knockouts. With and the, this has immunity this turn, which is a, a, a plus. Always which is, is. why I set it up because they can't just Guzma get the knockout. Because it's immune to all effects of attacks, including damage. All right, so there's a Cynthia play to draw six. All right. And he's going for the burn. The burn in 20. That's quite interesting. But <coughs> what do you expect when he's only got one energy? Or the one attached. Uh, yeah, I would definitely go with the Cynthia. Either Cynthia or Tate and Liza. And hope we get a Tyranitar. There's the Tyranitar. There's a Pupitar. Only drawback is we don't have the switch right now. Well, we have it in hand, but... But yeah, for next turn. But burn and confuse. We can take the shot, or take the chance. Worst case scenario, it fails, so... Yeah, worst case it fails. And, and we got to switch for next turn. Well, yeah. We either have a switch or we have a way for T-Tar to come or out. Or we just need energy, so. All right, so we got a DCE on the Naganadal. There's the field blower. Give me a choice band. Yep. So now let's see. There's the Guzma play, probably bringing up the T-Tar now. Yep. 
80 plus 80 minus, more. Minus resistance. Oh, only, only, it's only doing 8. It's only doing 60. Oh, to start getting him burned and confused. Okay. So the so there's the ability to get energy on the Naganadal. Bursting burn. So 20 burn and confused. That might hurt a little bit. Oh. No, well, the burn not anymore, but... They just sucked both switches now and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, go Tate and Liza. I mean, is there really anything There's else? There's nothing I can really burn from the hand to... Unless we retreat, but even then, we're already... We're not retreating that energy, so... Yeah, exactly. Uh, go Tate and hopefully we get something better. We got another T-Tar. That's actually not a bad setup. Well, put it on active. Try to. So argue could be actually putting another uh, switch because early game switches will already done. Oh yeah, easily. So what do we want to do? The hope was actually putting damage on these. Uh, these all yeah. of these. Try to minimize the. All right. So energy on the Blasephion. There's the Cynthia. What are they gonna pull out? Put so argument could be made putting another switch. All right, mind blown for one hundred minimum. Needs, he needs three energy to kill it. Two, three. There it is for one eighty. And, and but he's twenty short on the knockout. Two thirty out of two fifty. I uh, so yeah. Well, Guzma, the other Blissefion, bring up Azumarill. Using the rainbow to retreat out, we, yeah, we needed to. Well, he needs two turns. All right, so Dusty Ruckus to do thirty to or one sixty and thirty to everything. Not a bad way to go. Or he has to use this to get the damage off. So there's Max Potion to get rid of the one sixty off the active. <coughs> Fire energy. Oh, burn will kill it. Burn will Knock kill it. Out. So probably Azumarill. Azumarill. Try to load up T-Tar again. Yep. Yeah, might as well get another. So Ultra Ball to get the Lavatar. Unit Energy Rainbow. Yep. All right, and we're using a Rangaroo to dig for three. To get just a dark energy. All right, and then Elm's lecture. Fail the search. Okay. All right, so no attack. His turn. There's the Guzma. I think he's going. At, yep, he's going after the T Tars. Oh, well, I would. Oh yeah, I would too. So. Fire energy on the Blasephion and 20 or the t Bursting Burn for 20 in Confusion. And <laughs> drawing a rare candy, not good. Uh, instruct. There's the Ultra Ball. Discarding two of the candies. Two of the three candies. <laughs> But at least we got the Hyper T-Tar. We can't attack. We have... We can't retreat. We can't attack. Can't retreat. Yep. So we're stuck. We're taking burn. But no longer burn. That's good. Yeah. Like, we're... St I, mean, I think we figured out, like, a good substitute for Blasephion because of the fact he was so hard to pull. Uh, there's the Ultra Ball play. Getting rid of a Stretcher and yeah, no, a Fan uh, Club. He's going to get another point pull out. Lugia. Lugia. That's a twist. What a twist! There's the Lily to draw four. 
Oh, he must be running Kiawe. But yeah, we're we're not really gonna have a chance to cover like the big decks like Blasephion. Uh, we could do Lost March as a challenge video, um, but a lot of the top tier stuff we're not gonna be able to tell or to run unless we find a way to do something different with it. Because we, by the time we get a chance to actually showcase the deck, it's already been talked about for a month and a half. So unless we can do something different with it. Like, I think we have a good fighting idea with the Bless Fion. He's going to use all energy to blow it up. Yep, so... Well, in order to get the game, the Nagi has to blow up all of his energy. But the question is, is he going to blow up all of his energy? He yeah. is going to blow up all his energy for 230. So there's a knockout there. Now we are not in a good position. Yeah, unfortunately. All right, but there's the judge... Hold on, let's, yeah. Is the better. Of course. Get the rare candy off the judge. And the Guzma was kind of, uh, the other Guzma I was looking for too. Uh, fighting on to, uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. If this is the unit energy. Dang it, and it only grabs basics. Well, Which, do we even still have, like, units and rainbows? I don't think so. Oh, let's see. I run, I run at least three of each, so. Oh, I still got two rainbows. Or, All right. One, or at least one, unless it's prized. All right, so... Well, this, he has two turns now. He can burn the Azumarill, and then unless we get T-Tar, he'll... Yeah, because right now... This will be a good Kiawe turn. All right, so DCE on the Lugia. There's Potown. And Kiawe. You had to bring it up. I mean, why run this in a fire deck? Unless you're using Kiawe. Uh, so it looks like Kiawe straight on Blasephion. Alright, so next up, we got a Dark Energy. And still no Pokemon we can... Alright, come on. Kukui! Not what we need. Uh, Oranguru? We don't want to give him a GX. And now we're also... Now... Based on if he has Guzma, it's over, but... All right, so we got Larvitar. If he has a Guzma, we, we lost this. Because then he can just Guzma, Ninetales, or Lele, and knock him out. All right, so there's Heat He's Factory. Digging. He's instructing for one. How many fire energies in his uh, lot zone? There's the one on Blasephion. And burst to get rid of an energy, a DCE. And attaches it to Lugia. Well, now we have to get it this turn. We have to get it this turn. <sighs> Stretcher. Oh, actually. Get, get actually, out, actually. Yeah, get, to get out the T-Tar. But now, do can't we... Get, we can't get it out of the active. Yeah, unless we grab a switch. And those are in the pri in the discard, both of them. And... Re good game. And, and well played. Do you have a good deck? Smiley face. Four cards left in deck. Oh, I guess Blaselfion. It's lasted this long against Blaselfion. Yeah. Why retreat when you get us a blob of avatar? Two fifty avatar. Oh, yeah, only nine cards left in deck two. So, all right, next match. All right, and another one. Now for our next match, and another I, lost march. Another lost march. Unless running, unless someone is running pure bulu. Let's hope we get it set up a lot faster.
because Lost March is a really, really good deck. And a Lele lead. Not what we're... Yes, the yes, tap Okay, calm down. Yes, we're using Tapu Lele, but it came out in a box, so we can start using it now because it's within budget. The uh, Glissopod. Huh. Glissopod. Glissopod Dawnwings. Makes sense. All right, so we got a worm pod with a dumbbell. So we got a little bit of time. Yep, so wind pod with up. dumbbell, grass energy against our Lele lead. All right, so nest ball to grab out Vulpix. Yeah, Tate and Liza. Because there's not really much we can do after that. Just in case. We got next turn. What is with that hand? So we got next turn. We've got next we got turn. The switch. We got the switch. All we need is the energy. Oh. Well, oh. lucky for us, they only can do 30. So. All right. So Glissopod GX. There is a Cynthia. So right now, they're hoping for a bench. Grass energy onto Glissopod. And they didn't get the bench. First impression for 30. Okay, so we pretty much have this turn, and I think we can turn turn this into something. Uh, so there's the nine tails. Yeah, I want two items. Nest ball. Nest ball, and... Probably... Choice band? No, ultra ball. Go nest ball, ultra ball. Not getting walled out that like we did last time. Oh no no not not at all. All right, so we've got Ultra Ball getting rid of. We don't need this one yet, and there's still one in the deck. Very true. Bring out a Lavatar. Still have not played a supporter yet. We have not. Oh, we got next turn. Oh, well, if they ever play a Guzma. If they ever play a bench Pokemon, uh, we'll definitely have to see. Well, they can. They have open Guzmas though. Well, so even because, then, because we have a bench. Now, this just keeps it to where Nine Tails can attack if it needs to. Makes sense. Digging for bench. Because there's the other Cynthia. I wonder if this is just pure Glissopod. I wonder unless Don. There is Don Wings in the deck. Another 30. Next turn, he's probably digging for an energy right now. Uh, it's a Lavatar and the Peepital. Get the wall. Unfortunately, did we get energy in there? Nope. Um, no. Judge. Unfortunately, I have to judge because I can't Guzma. And I got the immunity on, on Peepital. Even then, that works. Well, let's get the Duck Shuffle because I already have a T-Tar. Might as well. Till next turn, we might actually be able to do something. Yeah, because right now we're... I wonder what their Pokemon count is to have this. Oh, unless there does There's game. a bench. Pheromosa. No, we got a Guzma target, but is a free retreater. Yep. So unless they bench something else. Or he Guzmas to try to switch into it. And get the knockout. Which, that's well, actually not the thing best. is, they, they can't get a knockout on anything but a Ranguru, so they're going to well, lose them up a Ranguru. Yep. It's the only thing they can knock out. Yep, retreat, first impression, 120. Okay. That's actually not a bad strategy. Like, Pheromosa Glissopod is really good. I didn't even think about that. All right, so there's the T-Tar. Uh, Guzma or Guzma? Why? Why? Exactly. Why Guzma? We need our energy. Like, we're running, what, four? I would only done Guzma if I could still play Ranguru. So, use Ranguru. Keep the deck moving. Well, they can have no bench. We have no energy, so... Exactly. Uh, 
Which means he'll have to play another Guzma. And, and first chance I get, choice Ben, I'm knocking that Gliss spot out of my... Uh, yeah, it's going to be super easy to knock right. out that Gliss spot. You but what's playing? the play? Steven's resolve, so, so we, we get, get a, a turn. turn. Well, now we... Unless we got to open up with a Judge, they got to keep those cards. So one's going to be a... <laughs> they're, they're Pokemon they're missing for the bench. Or you see they're running a Lele or Dawn Wings or both. It's probably Pokemon they're they're hoping to get on the bench. That or switches. Because right now if he gets or next turn she could easily just switch into Feramosa, retreat for Glissapod and knock out Lele. That's two more prizes that she's got. So we need At least to it'll move the game. It will, but it'll also kind of leave two very high-priority attackers ready to go. So... Yeah, I mean... Fortunately, we kind of have to. Hypothetically. It's still early in the game, sort of. What are you thinking? The lucky uh, top deck of a stretcher <laughs> to get Lele back out. The it is it is possible. All right, it's... gotta fort, gotta get mo things moving somehow. Come on, bang it all luck that we can get. There is another wind pod. There's a wind pod. Lele, Gladian. That's they prize, they're prize uh, their other Pokemon they're looking for. Yeah, that's that's one you don't see too often. Well, because, well, it's a one of in every deck. All right, that's Life a, Forest. That's a, nice, that's a nice twist. They're yeah. Tree, and I got Lele, because I want them to move the deck. Yeah. DCE on the Glissapod, and now Glissapod for the 120 knockout. I was kind of hoping to get the deck moving. Up. Top, deck, top deck of a stretcher would... Help tremendously. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Arceus. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Come on. Stretcher for Lele. Top deck of the Lele to grab Cynthia. The party one. They already played all three cards they wanted to play last turn. Play Cynthia, and hopefully we get some energy. There's something we can use. Wait. Or was that last game we prized the... That was last game we prized it. last it. game, yeah. So Meryl. Uh, unit energy. Yep. Uh, next turn's play. We almost could. If I could evolve it now, I would. I know. But top, I'm thinking we almost could. Top deck Guzma. All right, so he's got a nest. Or there's there's the nest ball. Top deck Guzma. It worked last time. It did. Or even the nest ball for Shuckle. Which is weird because you want to play Shuckle for Pan. Well, it is, it is a nice wall of a deck. It is. Evolve into Glissapod. Ba baby Glissapod. Baby Gliss. GX Hunter. Grass. Crosscut. Yep. Grass on to Glissapod. Crosscut. Switch down to Feramosa or even Shuckle. Because it ignores the effects of attacks, right? No, it, do it just can't damage it. So with things with uh, less than three. Less than three energy. All right, so timer ball to grab out a Glissapod GX. They already did energy attachment, so evolve into Glissapod GX. Oh wait, en energy attachment here. They yep. Do. So cross cut, cut GX going down the bench. It would be either that or Veramosa. So for the shuckle, judge. Oh. 
Oh, can I judge a sycamore? Uh, uh, not sycamore. Sycamore, yeah! <laughs> that would be awesome! A good Switch. The <laughs> You have failed us, Judge. Cynthia. Oh, they, they got, got a nine tails. for next turn. They got a nine tails. They'll get, yeah, they'll get a nine tails. But they need the one energy to retreat. Plus or an escape board. Or a Guzma. Let's see what Judge gave them. Well, they could. Well, they already GX to exit their. Poisoning would be a, a really powerful thing right now. Because unless it was an Ultra Beats, I can't touch. Unless it was an Ultra Beats, I can't attack it. So grass onto Shuckle. The only way I can. Shuckle's going for the poison. Well, I would. Because unless it's an Ultra Beast, I can't touch it. Cynthia. Come on. I wish I could a For two switches. There is. Yep, two switches. But even then, there's the energy to retreat for turn. Yeah. So that. Can't subline. Why am I sublining just nothing? Yes. Yes. Uh, rainbow. Yep. T tar. I got Guzma, so it don't matter. Exactly. This is gonna be a close one. They're gonna try. They're gonna wrap, try to wrap it. Oh, well, they can't. So. All right. So there's dumbbells on the baby glissopod. Grass energy on the glissopod. They're gonna knock out the nine tails. Yep. Well, do they have the Guzma to do so? I would if I had the option. Well, that's the thing. Do they have that option? Because right now it's looking like they'll have to retreat in the glissopod, glissopod or the GX. Well, this one has out. no energy, so. Well, yeah. There's the Guzma for Titar. I do need another energy, though. Cause for 150. Wait, why do you need one more energy? To. Oh, I for don't, I, don't want the, I don't want this one the active. All right, so get rid of the rare candy. Grab out a Levitar, all right. Tate and Liza or Guzma? I don't have, oh, wait, the, no, I don't don't have, have the energy. energy. I wanted to Guzma that one up. Let's hope it pays off. You could almost drop it on the Lele. Now I can retreat it next turn. Well, now I don't have to use a play, but I can yeah. still retreat it next turn. But do they... How many Guzmas are in their discard? If they're running Gillespie, they should be running four. Because the Pokemon that centers around the card. Uh, well, they're at two. Or as many as they have access to, up to four. Exactly. But I'm pretty... Question is, is, do they have the Guzma? Or the Switch? They would have played it already. It's a grass energy They're on the going for the not They're going for the... Timer ball. Fail the search. Unless they need something... For Glissopod. For the GX. That's odd. Unless they're hoping for fodder. They're They're looking for fodder. Get game cards out of the deck, so the only thing they can draw is like energy or or the switches and Guzmas. All right, looks like it paid off. So we're retreat for Titar. On to Lavatar. Uh, Tain Liza. Shuffle draw. Love and Tate Liza. Ooh, uh, full immunity, full immunity, and choice ban. Yeah, what's going on? So I got full immunity for a turn, or at least on the Pupitar. 
you know, well, the effects of tax still go through, but thing is, well. Now the question is, can he get? He can't get the knockout, can he? He'll, With, he'll have he. He'll get a revenge. If I knock it out, he'll get the revenge knockout. Okay, just want to make the, sure. Oh, they'll get the revenge knockout. I'm hoping to get this ready to go by that time. So we could switch Rangers out. Rangers in there forever unless they somehow can get, unless there's a new current I don't know How about. many Guzmas do we have? We have access to the other two. Okay. They literally so, switched to get that in the active. So Tate and had the switch, getting out the Glissapod. Yeah, that's still a uh, good play. But Pewtart. That's still a very good play. So unless I top deck another Tyranitar. Or something to help me dig for it. Life Force to heal the Pheromosa and Armor Press for 100, which is knockout. And Pewtar's effect was on this turn, so. So he's not immune, which means we have this turn to turn to turn things around. There's the Kukui. Guzma Switch. Well, we don't have this switching target. Yeah, we do. Meryl. Oh. And this will probably be... Well, it's the only play I had. Because they can't openly knock it out with this one. But they can always... Oh, they can just retreat and knock it out. So, oh, no. They still need... They need that to be a choice man. I'm actually was hoping to knock this. I'm hoping to knock this one out, but thing is, I need the GX tech and a choice man. Do we have a T-Tar in deck still? Yeah. Okay. Or prizes. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Speaking of, well, I'm gonna get rid of the only one that's a major threat. Let's see. Actually, yeah, oh, refresh. Trying to get, I need it gives them me two turns. Unless they, well, have the one card I, we don't want them to have. Uh, now the question is, should we lay down this? I need ten damage. Uh, lay the smack down. I was hoping to use it on this one. Well, they don't have. Let's see what their resources are. I missed 10 damage. Uh, it's actually 20, but... Next turn, I still get the knockout. 28, 29, 30, 31. You know, you know 31 how... Inter or 31 damage on the field right now. Armor press. Which I... You know... Oh, actually, armor press doesn't mean anything at this point, so... No, it doesn't, so... Thing is, he just has to get him in range. My hazard damage on... A ranger? Oh, that's right. I, I, so it, heal it all basics for thirty. That's right. Oh, and then he he's the getting Feramosa. armor press, and then if I knock it out, he's gonna take it with. They're gonna take it with the Feramosa. It's a good play. We have oh. two cards left in deck: a rare candy and a Tate and Liza. This is not good. Uh, Dusty Ruckus. It's the last turn. Yeah, let's be real. So we laid the smack down. There, they just had to put it in range. That was a rough beginning. That was a that was a very rough game. And you guys are swing for 180, so. Yeah. But it's a little because you have one prize left. Out. Why? Wait, what? You can't knock me out. With that. Uh, okay. Uh, unless they're trying to see if we could do something. Well, the only other that's Tay and Liza. Yeah. Uh, energy on the nine tail. Was nine tails his ability or attack? The attack I can knock I can knock this out on one shot, but who cares? Well, they still got the knock they still got the game, but Yeah.
Well played. Because now, 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 now they're going to disarm and press for the last knockout. At they, this, at they this had point, they knock out with Fermosa. They've had knockout with a couple Pokemon. Or against a couple Pokemon. Not to mention, I had two. I had a nine tails on the bench the entire time with eighty damage, one hundred eighty damage, and that's game. All right, so um, we'll go into another match and see if we can do better than that. All right, Dark Psychic. As let's see if I can I can outspeed it. Here, at least it's not that annoying uh, Zoroark list. It, it, it is. Zoragarb. Zoragarb? Mm-hmm. It's the only deck that runs these two types. Oh, fun. And and that can hide the Lele. I didn't see any colorless. I didn't see any... Yeah. All right, so let's see... This... Let's see what garbage we're going up against. Without the energy... Let's see if it truly is. Unless it's a rogue list. Lele in K. Whoa. Um, so Lunala. So it's the psychic Lele. With Lunala. With Malamar. They're doing Lunala. Probably the only Malamar they had access to, and it's probably the only dark type. Or the in K. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Although, wait, what does the dark one do again? Unless they have energy, paralyzes. Okay. If it's the only one they have access to, I understand, but so energy lotto followed by acrobike. It does throw you off. Psychic. It There's... does throw it off. Because what deck did we thought it was? Here's another acrobike getting rid of another psychic. Well, what did we thought it was? Those two types. What other decks run those two types? Off the top of your head. Yeah, Malamar. You know, so online I've noticed uh, Zork has kind of falling out of favor unless they're like in tier three well Zor the i know the zorar control deck is doing like hilarious amounts of damage like it's something that i'm, I'm kind of sad that we didn't come up with like it's that dumb let's see how i can get the list because we did open up the lecture so we still have access to lele later in later so you have access to guzma play later all right so looking for so three Larvitar. all right so there's play no lecture All right, so there's the Meryl. The, it's, <laughs> right, we prized the Vulpix, so and a, and a Meryl. Let's let's get our bench loaded up. So that explains why we led this way. Okay, that uh, actually kind of explains a lot. Um, so yeah, let's go for paralysis. Paralysis wins games. That it does. But Lele was in the deck. That's a... Uh, could be a plus. If I get Guzma, I'm still going for, after the Malamar. So there's a Kazuam on bench. Two Kazuams. I wonder if they're running the mix. Well, no, they're not running Metal. We didn't see it at all. Psychic they're on the Kazuam. They're running Lunala Malamar, and then now we need to see which Lunala they're using. Acrobike. Which Lunala they're using, both. Getting rid of Psychic. Another time revolve. Not a bad. So you see, we're gonna see what they're. Well, one's gonna be Malamar. Double Lunala. Not a Malamar. And it's the promo Lunala. Unless they're running the Dark Malamar. Wait, what does the that Lunala, Lunala do again? Hold on. I need to get. Oh. Uh, I would go dark. I would wait, just keep going paralysis. That way we don't get hit with side wave. That works. Go, I mean, back, you, go back to sleep. And every top deck T tar where we're Oh wait, wait, it's got scatter shot, doesn't it? No. Shatter shot. It, it's But thing is they still gotta get out of the active. And it only applies it to itself. It, it, it's its own energy. What does Malamar do again? If it gets out. And assuming they're running that one. They should be the dark one. Which but, I, I probably not, but... But also they're trying they're trying damage spread. 
So in fact, Tapu Lele, two energy, you get to move en uh, move damage counters on your or opponent's or side mid -game, of the field. Or mid-game, it's a nice way to clean up targets. But if we top deck T-Tar, we're pretty much going to sweep. So, so either they're focusing on the side well, beam or the that. Lunala. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Every time I hit, I'm knocking it out. They have to keep using wings of, wings of the moon to keep the energy their energy moving. I'll fry it off the field. Now we just need to get Levitar out. Or uh, T-Tar out. T-Tar out. Or a shuffle draw to get T-Tar and Rare Candy back in hand. If I don't... <sighs> Guzma. Guzma. Trying to burn a turn. Oh, go for a knockout. Help us out. If we get an end up with shuffle draw, I'm going to evolve to Pipitar. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well. Uh, <laughs> Ultra Ball. Yep, that's actually what I was thinking. Shiny. Uh, yeah. I win. I, I won. There's no recovering from this. My Spedrine just knocked out all their energy. <laughs> okay. And Ruckus because they're weak, and I'm ready to murder their deck. <laughs> they do realize that everything gets removed. From the deck. Now we get a supporter. Hey, with no hand, Cynthia is amazing. Uh, yeah. Only thing better is Sycamore or turn one Lily with zero cards. Something tells me we're going to get a scoop in three, two, one. Well, they brought weak, we, they brought knife to a gunfight. Well, they brought a they brought a gun to a tank fight. It's uh, and they for they, they didn't shoot the barrel down when as it was coming out, like in like in the movies it does. Side wave, and it's all in the lost zone. Side wave. For twenty, forty, sixty minus twenty. So I win. forty, I win. <laughs> and if and if well, I say if I got Guzma, I Guzma that and start hitting him again. Well, it depends what the top deck is. They do realize this is pretty much over, right? Uh, yeah, this is definitely. There's the scoop. They read it. Everything, it, everything it kills, it gets gets, gets ruined. Yeah, so I, I definitely got to tell you that this list is Why like... Why did it work against the only thing it, was, it had weakness on? I know, right? Like, that's always kind of a dumb thing that And the that other, other decks, it could have had a fight, actually. Well, the two first ones were really nice, even though one the second one kind of derped. Yeah, um, but... The last one, it just took a while to get going for both sides. This is uh, our Tyranitar list. And gotta tell you, it is it is a hilarious deck. Dark has dark and fighting right now has probably the worst energy acceleration in the game, and there really is no clear cut way to accelerate it, other than put when they do it to themselves. Exactly. So um, I think we found a way around it. So the deck obviously is built around Tyranitar G. I mean, you gotta show off the shiny one, but obviously, but. T tar so they can see it. Whenever something gets knocked out by this, it gets removed from the game. It goes into the loss zone. So, yeah, and uh, and the cards that are attached to them as well. Yeah, so that's all their energy. That's their tool. That's pretty much what they were trying to go with the deck. That's your that's choice bands gone and everything and it, else. It, it doesn't seem as impactful until you're looking for those resources with a stretcher. Yes, yes, indeed. So we're pretty much focusing on the Dusty Rockets. Two dark energy and a colorless, 130 damage, and it does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench basics, which that damage can start adding up quick and just start leading you leading to fun knockouts. And then it's GX for it's two dark shred and colorless. for 220. Yeah. So 220 mean oh, that shred to say, oh, you're going to want me? No, you're not. Dead. But of course, he really is like the best heal in the WWE, so what do you expect? Uh, so the thing is, it costs two solid dark, uh, dark energy. That is the hardest part. It was a darkness DC, no problem. Now you saw one way with the challenge video with uh, using Marowak. Marowak. It just did nothing. Found something a little bit better, Zoomero. 
And they use the same unit energy, which is why it works so well. Yep. Yeah, as a matter of fact, psychic fighting dark, or a uh, fairy uh, fighting Perfect. dark. So we get to use the fairy effect for uh, for the Azumarill, and we can put it on the T if we need to. So, Pokedot Search. Look at the top eight cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon any way you like. So, three energy. Cool, we now got a T-Tar ready to go turn. I've up to five three. energy in one turn. With the Zoomerol. Best part is, if you pull a rainbow energy... Does you, nothing. You don't take oh, well, the damage. It, it, it just forces it on and no damage take, is taken. Yeah, because you play from your hand. And then it, you're forcing it from deck. Exactly. I and we have a Tapu Lele. Yes, yes, we have a Tapu Lele. Get, get it is that. the pro one, and yet it is for the L, the lecture play. Exactly. And if we get, open up lecture, it leads to a Guzma or Kukui play. Exactly, because of the fact, obviously, Lele came out as a promo box. It's an alternate art, not a promo, but still, it came out in a box. You can now go out and buy. That's so one. we can now start running one of in a lot of decks. So you're gonna see Lele more. I... Nine Tails, however, will probably be the one that stays away a bit because it's still a little on the pricey side. Yes, very much so. But be might start running at one of is if it starts hitting around fifteen. But, but mm -hmm. for the regulars, but that's stretching it. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, Lola Nine Tails is going to see a lot of play in a lot of decks. Because when you play this from your hand to evolve, you search your deck for two items and put them into your hand. That's a rare candy Ultra Ball. That's a switch. That's a. Uh, a rescue stretcher, a recycle system. That's pretty much whatever we need from the deck whenever we need it. And plus, since we are running the unit energy, we can attack with nine tails if necessary. Uh, fair in a colorless, seventy damage, and it does thirty to one of your I opponent's mean, bench. Attack, you can pull, it put things in, puts, in, puts things in range of T-Tar. Yeah, so it's so all you had to do is Guzma knock it out and spread to the basics on the bench. Exactly. So this becomes a really good backup attacker. Plus a. Uh, fairy and a colorless. If your opponent's active as an Ultra Beast, it's knocked out. And you can just oh, let's bless Elfie on. That's Buzzwool. Nah, Naganadal or not. Naganadal, Dawn Wings, Dustmane. Things uh, that can actually Necrozma, all of them. Uh, anything that can hold its own against uh, Tyranitar. So yeah, and then anything else special about this deck that we're oh, running? Oh, and the Kukui and Choice Banner, so I can hit 180. Yeah, so we got Kukui that draws There, there really is 20. no dark power anymore. No, that's all in Expanded. And, well, there's no... Yeah, so... I need to be able to hit 100. And with Kukui, I can now hit 150. The problem with hitting 130 is that you're not hitting Magna Zones. And chances are they evolve from the one that has the ability, Magnemite, so you can't touch it regardless. Exactly. So... Kukui allows you to knock out uh, stuff like Vika Bolts. Let's you stop, knock out stuff like uh, Meta, uh, not Metagross, but the, I just said it, Magnezone. And anything up to 150 hit point range. And then plus Choice Man, I get it up to 180, which which is the mid range of all the GXs. Yeah, because that's a Lele. And, and if they're the baby G GXs, after one, they're almost all in range. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's just do a quick breakdown of everything. One Rangaroo because it's draw engine. Exactly. And it's not knocked out. We run a 4 2 3 line of the Tyranitar GX. And you can pick which Larvitar. All of them are playable. I just picked the one with Paralysis. Because Paralysis can't As win you games. saw, it held on long enough for Tyranitar to get out. Yep. And then we got Pupitar to. Uh, it becomes full immune from a da damage during that turn. Yep. But the thing is, they can still burn it, but that's, well. Yep. Uh, we run a 1-1. One, one. still manageable, being knocked out as not. Exactly. So we run a 1-1 one, one Alola Ninetales, mostly for In the case, ability. And it allows us to have access to Beacon, so. Exactly. Which you ne I was almost got to, but they scooped before I could. Yep. So we've got, we're running a 2-2 two, two Azumarill. I almost think about running a 3-3 three, three just to get one to the active. Yeah, because this is pretty much what we're wanting in the early game to try to set up the T-Tar as fast as we possibly can. Uh, we've got one Lele so that we can make sure we get L, any setup Kukui, we need. Guzma, Cynthia. Whatever so, we need when we need it. Yes. Uh, we run one energy or one energy recycle system to pull back any energy we need. We run two Nest Balls so we can get out Lavatars, Merrells, Vulpix, Orangaroo, yes. all our basics. 
We run three rare candies so we can evolve into T-Tar as soon as possible. Yes. Uh, two rescue stretchers so we can put Pokemon in our hand and back into the deck. Rescue Lele so you can keep the game moving. Uh, two switch so that we can switch Argument, from... Argument though, I can always... I can add, I'm thinking about adding more switch. I mean, how is our Tate and Liza account? Our Tate and Liza account four. is four. Yes, I would actually tra swap it with Cynthia's account. Well, in the future build. And at, find a way to add in one more switch. Because having that third switch would have helped with Bless Elfion. Oh yeah, easily. Not having that third switch, I think, is the what caused it. Because we were looking for uh, getting at that next switch just to get out of the active. All right, so so uh, we can lay the smack down on Bless Elfions. All right, so we got two switches. Uh, we've got three Ultra Ball. Three Ultra Balls, so we can grab out T Tars, uh, Nine Tails, whatever we need. Uh, we run two Cynthia. So that we can hey, shuffle yeah, our hand if we need to. The numbers are switching. Literally. Uh, we run three Guzma. That way we can pick out specific targets and start doing devastation with T-Tar. Yes. We run two Judge so slow that we can point it down. slow them down as best we can. And once Ranger is out, it doesn't hurt you as bad. So. Uh, we run two Professor Elm's Lectures so that we can yeah, grab... It's not, it's not prized. Well, yep. unless you prize both of them in one game. So we can grab Meryl, Vulpix, and the Lavatars and get those set up as soon as possible. Two Kukui to draw two cards and do a little bit more damage. Four Taint Liza, uh, so we can either shuffle draw or switch when we need to. Unfortunately, I will probably switch the numbers with Cynthia. But even so, in, it gives... In the real build. Yeah, but even then, it gives us either more cards in hand or gets our T-Tar out to the active to start raiding Devastation. Two choice bands so we can start dealing damage against some uh, GXs. Uh, two rainbow energy so that we can either have a dark or a psychic whenever we need it. Or even a water if we ever wanted to go with bubble. We've got four unit energy. The fairy fighting and dark so that we can uh, have those energies so that we can attack. And we've got seven basic dark energy. Yes. So I... Uh, with, so we this deck is hilarious and amazing, and it takes a little setting up, but once it's set up, it is good to go. All right, but yeah, uh, this that, is that was still in between though. So yeah, that was our T tar list. Uh, we end up playing a couple games. Uh, we end up losing against uh, Selfion. We lost against Selfion. We lost against Lost March, but we held our own pretty well. And um, uh, well, we did. It was a Glissbot list, and. Well, it played out that there that RNG wasn't working. Yeah, and obviously you guys all. and obviously you we guys went, saw those matches. We went about ten turns without a draw supporter. Yeah, so I uh, with one energy on the field during that entire time. Either way, I'm glad we managed to get the deck show it off because of the fact this thing is hilarious. I uh, at least we didn't get stuck with just fighting this time around. Because that was a major crime during the challenge video. Yes. But uh, anyways, let us know what you guys thought of the video uh, down in the down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town Hero yourself. Hey, wait, hit us are up we on PT something? Hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore Town underscore Heroes. And also be sure to check us out on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. As always, may all your games go well. And may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.